A neighborhood bookstore where parents go to buy books for their kids and folks buy new novels will soon be gone. The Books A Million bookstore is closing for good in the Laurel Shopping Center. I am not happy about this at all. <laughs> I'm actually devastated, uh, hugely devastated because I think books are fundamental and especially with everything going on in our, in our current culture and our current climate. 19 years, that's how long Books A Million has been in the Laurel community. Residents' frustration about the closing spilling over onto social media. Bill Fry writes, too sad, I will miss it. Another customer writes, I think we should petition to get this store to stay. So to get a book and go in person and to actually read it and pick it up and to smell it, it's, it's a different feel than to go online and to scroll through. In a statement from the company, it came down to business. They write, we regularly assess our real estate portfolio and align our store locations with the growing demand and customer needs in the communities we serve. I read. And because of that, this is the only local bookstore that we still have available to us. Uh, the one up on Main Street closed. And this is it, guys. We're, we're in a print desert. Tanya Hunt's 21-year-old daughter loves books. While she's sad to see the franchise leave, Tanya says she's trying to buy as many books as possible. I went in there and actually spent almost $100. And she's the book fan. So... <laughs> It's hard to see it go. It really is, this location. Once Books A Million closes, there will be only a few bookstores left in the city of Laurel. Uh, a Barnes & Noble. <laughs> Another bookstore. Another bookstore, because we need it, because reading is so important today. It is unclear what business will replace Books A Million in the Laurel Shopping Center. However, the store will remain open until most of its merchandise is sold. For Laurel TV, Stephanie Johnson.